Ben Shapiro has been banned from a private Christian university. Grand Canyon University played the kumbaya card to excuse its censorship. So it's all about uh, it's all about coming together. It's all about we're not going to discriminate against anybody. We're going to uh, be tolerant and inclusive. And to emphasize that, we're not going to let Ben Shapiro come to our college. So if you had an opportunity to talk to the decision makers, and I don't know who made this decision, probably the board of directors, but if you had an opportunity, Barry, to talk to these people, eyeball to eyeball, go sit in their office, sit across the desk from them. What would you tell them? I tell them that the most popular place and the best host site for the free idea exchange in America is on college campuses. When I went to college and we studied political philosophy, you debated everything from the left to the right, from the old to the new and everything in between the great scholars and the great revolutionaries. And to say a prominent historical scholar, literally an expert on the US Constitution, is not invited because his ideas are different than the ideas that we want on campus is insanity. What are you gonna do? Whitewash everything in history outside the box that you're creating? And ironically, and this is the part Ken, I don't understand at all. Uh, apparently, Grand Canyon is a Christian private institution which promotes Judeo-Christian ideas and ideals. Ben Shapiro is a proponent of those, a supporter of biblical interpretation of the law, and yet he doesn't qualify? Oh my gosh, who then does qualify under whatever goofball theocracy they're running at that school i mean honestly who would be okay uh do these people these people being leftists do they really believe in freedom of speech i mean why are they doing this you know like oh, ab like, absolutely ahead. they do they believe in freedom of speech within the four corners of their dogma look what they did at berkeley uh last year when shapiro was going to be there milo yiannopoulos was going to be there and Coulter was going to be there, they caused millions of dollars in damage, destroying the very university that was the home of the freedom of speech movement in the 1960s. Why? Because they did not want to hear, they being the ones burning the place down and breaking into windows and turning police cars upside down and uh, writing Nazi all over the wall. They didn't want to hear an opposition viewpoint. Like Solomon said, there was a very large group there, the college Republicans, that had paid for him to come. They had bought the security. And because of the riot, they were denied the opportunity. However, if you're a Marxist-Leninist, if you're a socialist who wants 100% tax on the rich, if you want free stuff for everybody, that speaker is invited on a weekly basis. It's not a controversy. Freedom of speech all you want. Why? Because that's the approved message. Joseph Goebbels would be proud of the way they control the subject matter of what is allowed to be discussed. And I mean that literally.